Interjack, the Echidna's bloodline curse. Now you ask, who is Interjack? Well, the Interjack is a demigod that actually runs and knuckles his heritage or his bloodline. It's a long, long list uh, of ancestry. Uh, so basically, every generation there's a Interjack, and every Interjack, uh, well, tends to have have a thing to cleanse the world of negative negative energy it's you know kind of mixed depending on what Interjack we're speaking of but one thing that the Interjack is is it's feared by the echidnas the Interjack is a pretty cool character the one thing I upsets me is that Archie really never went deep of who the Interjack was and how the Interjack became to be Oh, I can definitely tell you that it actually goes way. It actually goes back to Knuckles's Master Emerald and the Echidna's uh, close connection with the Chaos Energy and also science. So basically, you can say that it was a gift bestowed uh, upon the gods that was given to the Echidna's as a right. Uh, but you know, that can be changed too in time. Now, last time I talked about uh, Dr. Finitivis. He's actually the character who uh, um, instigated Knuckles to become Interjack. Uh, he actually tapped into that ancestral power somehow and made Knuckles, brainwashed Knuckles into becoming the, uh, the Interjack. Now, go keep in mind, when you become the Interjack, you go into like a, uh, we call it a kind of deep sleep. Uh, basically, every character who's taken on the form of the Interjack tends to forget uh, what happened. It's almost like this power overtakes them and this Interjack character is actually like an entity of its own. Uh, but we can definitely know that the Interjack is a character, he's a demigod that has huge amounts of power. Uh, basically he's able to level a city with just a mere whoosh of his hand. That's how powerful Interjack is. Now the powers of the Interjack vary uh, depending on the user so depending on who embodies the inner jack can vary between users so the inner jack has many powers but one thing I do know the inner jack can do at, with many of the powers he has under his, his tip of his fingers he's able to erase an army from the world with just a mere you know swipe of his hand that's how powerful the inner jack is um, yeah it took Sonic, Super Sonic, and Knuckles' father to, uh, to break the spell that Dr. Finitivus created that actually uh, took over Knuckles' body, the Interjack, to beat him. That's how powerful Interjack is. It took two people to bring him down. And even with Super Sonic, it was not enough to bring the Interjack down. It was actually the help of his father that made it happen. Now, the Interjack character, since we don't know very much of the other Interjacks that came from the past, because Archie never really went depth with them, uh, I can only talk about the two Interjacks that Knuckles was, because Knuckles was the Interjack twice, and also Knuckles' nephew, he became an Interjack. So, uh, with that, um, Knuckles was Interjack twice, and with the personality that Interjack was under Knuckles' uh, form, uh, basically, you know, that Interjack had a deep um, need to rid the world of technology and liberate his people 
from, you know, basically the life they were living in and also rid their cybernetics. Um, with that, uh, that doesn't seem bad on paper, but this is where the bad comes in. See, being Interjack, you know, basically Knuckles became a tyrant. He started to uh, enslave his people and demand authority and uh, pretty much, you know, authority and respect. If you didn't get it, uh, if you did not give it to Interjack, he would remove you from the world, basically erasing you and destroying you. And, you know, if you haven't seen, Interjack is able to level a city with just himself. That's how powerful and dangerous Interjack is. Now, the nephew Interjack became a tyrant. He became a tyrant who took the souls of, you know, his victims and put them in these robotic bodies. Now, keep in mind, with Silver the Hedgehog, um, he was the only character, only character that beat Interjack by himself using his mind. Um, thanks, you know, Silver the Hedgehog had training with Wooly the Mammoth, one of the crime lords uh, uh, from the um, Mobius from the past. Now, keep in mind, um, Wooly the Mammoth actually has you know, kind of similar powers to Silver, but he's a master of the mind power. So, you know, it would make sense why Silver would win against an overpowered foe. But it does make painfully make me regrettably say that even though I love Shadow the Hedgehog, he is the greatest character. He is the ultimate life form. He was beaten by Interjack. Even though he gave it his all, it just breaks my heart seeing him getting beaten by that character and having Silver actually beat him. But, you know, let it be, let it be. But I'll, I'll leave this with this, with this much. Interjack is a is an OP character. He's actually an OP character and also a really cool character. It's just a pity that, you know, Archie really never went more depth in the past for us to understand the Interjack character and, you know, what what caused it. There's a lot of mystery that shrouds the Interjack, but we can definitely tell he's an OP power character. Coming with my last thing before I leave, and that would be his powers. Now, I mentioned that Interjack can erase an entire army of beings and also just levitate a city with just his himself the interjack's able to restore as i think i've i said uh you know forms of his friends like cybernetic if you have cybernetic parts you can now he can restore your your original body um the interjack also has you know power to you know almost like do what silver does levitate and move objects He's also able to uh, take the souls of, you know, victims, uh, basically, make, you know, make them slaves. So the Interjack basically has a lot of powers. That's some of his powers. His powers go very depending on the user, but we definitely know that these powers I mentioned are quite, well, they're OP. They're overpowered. So, yeah. So basically, I'll leave that with this, the fact that Interjack is a cool character. And if IDW wants to bring him back, please do not destroy the anything we know about the Interjack. Just add to it. Other than that, I'm going to say you know, later, guys, and hope you like this video. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe.